in order of service for noonday. God of resurrection, you have rolled the stone away and the tomb of our world has been opened wide. With the dawn has come a new creation. Let our celebration today empty our tombs, renew our lives, and release your power. Through the risen Christ we pray. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. May the mountains yield prosperity for the people and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live while the sun endures and as long as the moon throughout all generations. May he be like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may righteousness flourish and peace abound until the moon is no more. May he have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew, chapter 5. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we commemorate Tikhon, Patriarch of Russia, Confessor and Ecumenist, 1925. Vasily Ivanovich Belavin, Tikhon's given name, was born January 19, 1865. He grew up in a rural area among peasants in a village where his father was a priest of the Russian Orthodox Church. Even as a child, he loved religion and by age 13 began his seminary training where his classmates already nicknamed him Patriarch. At 23, he graduated as a layman and began to teach moral theology. Three years later, he became a monk and was given the name Tikhon. By 1897, he was consecrated Bishop of Lublin and in 1898 became Bishop of the Aleutians and Alaska, the leader of Russian Orthodoxy in North America. Tikhon was held in such esteem that the United States made him an honorary citizen. While in this country, he established many new cathedrals and churches and participated in ecumenical events with other denominations, in particular the Episcopal Church. 
in 1900, at the consecration of Bishop Reginald Weller as coadjutor of the Diocese of Fond du Lac, the diocesan Bishop Grafton invited Tiquan to sit on his own throne. The Archbishop would have participated in the laying out of hands if the Episcopal House of Bishops had not forbidden it. Tiquan later established warm relations with the Diocese of California. In 1907, Tiquan returned to Russia and a decade later was elected Patriarch of Moscow. The outbreak of the Russian Revolution threw the church into disarray. When a severe famine caused many peasants to starve in 1921, the Patriarch ordered the sale of many church treasures to purchase food for the hungry. Soon, the government began seizing church property for itself, and many believers were killed in defense of their faith. The communists tried to wrest control of the church from Tiquan, while he in turn attempted to shelter his people. To this end, he discouraged the clergy from making political statements that might antagonize the government. He prayed, May God teach every one of us to strive for his truth and for the good of the Holy Church rather than something for our own sake. Imprisoned by the Soviets for more than a year, he was criticized both by the Communist Party and by those Orthodox bishops who believed he had compromised too much with the government. On April 7, 1925, he died, worn out by his struggles. In 1989, the Council of Bishops of the Russian Orthodox Church glorified Patriarch Tikhon, numbering him among the saints of the Church. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, you call us together into one communion and fellowship. Open our eyes, we pray, as you open the eyes of your servant, Tiquan, that we might see the faithfulness of others as we strive to be steadfast in the faith delivered to us, that the world may see and know you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be glory and praise unto ages of ages. Amen. As the sun rises higher in the sky, so may the Lord be exalted in our lives. As the spring flowers display their beauty, so may the Lord be glorified in our lives. As the fresh green leaves on the trees announce the spring, so may the Lord be known in our lives. Creator God, whose faithfulness is seen in the coming and going of the seasons, whose love is seen in the renewing of the earth, guard and guide us, keep us and bless us, now and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.